All right, guys, welcome back. We are getting a lot of videos sent to us. So what we want to do is we want to start running through these police interaction videos, start helping new channels grow, and we want to see what we can learn from these police interaction videos. A lot of you guys in the comments section are from some of these areas. Some of you guys know their policies. So what we want to do here is try to educate as much as possible. Let me know in the comments section what you guys see in this video, something that I may have missed. All right, so without further ado, this video comes from a channel called Ghost DC, and let's check out the video, folks. Because I'll be honest with you, I thought the state law was from smell of marijuana, it's not probable cause. DC, it's Maryland as well. Would you like me to pull it up on my phone? I live around the corner, man. Y'all be harassing people, bro. <laughs> no, we do not. <laughs> I swear to Jesus. <laughs> I swear to Jesus. Greenbelt police is... Y'all serious? But yeah, we just moved into Franklin Park right behind here. Exactly. Get out of here. <laughs> it's that bad over there? Officer thinks it's funny that folks don't like being harassed or bothered by police. <laughs> right there by the yeah, by the right shell. shell. So, it's, it's, what? It's... Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm... I'll tell you, one shot these is up. We just moved it. We <laughs> just <laughs> moved. I'll tell you, once the lease is up, go, go, go. This cop sounds high. Um, seriously, he sounds like he's um, high on weed. And now I got to tell you, I want to make a point here. I think police officers should be randomly drug tested. Not necessarily for marijuana, um, but I think that police officers should definitely be drug tested. Um, and... Uh, with that being said, I am no doctor and I don't give no medical advice. It's kind of my opinion. Keep watching. That please, bro. I'll tell you. Is that bad, bro? Yes. Okay. No, I'm, he, he polices my neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, we live right behind here. It doesn't work. You got to have to reach around, bro. Sorry, it's old. That's crazy, man. Where are you gonna close that? Y'all not cold? What the fuck? Just don't think about it. Crazy. <laughs> don't think about it. I try not to think about it. <laughs> You're not gonna find it. I don't have nothing else. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man, y'all just be popping up, bro. These were bored. So you, you gonna come fuck with me? <laughs> it's n nothing, bro. <laughs> bro, you can ask that. That's the fourth color. Um, quick piece of advice, you guys. Um, nobody likes looking at your damn feet. I mean, <laughs> nobody likes looking at your feet, guys. Today, nice shoes, but nobody likes looking at them. Same thing. Same thing. Gotta get the door fixed, bro. Not, it's hell no. It's a whole car. That's how it is. <laughs> Shit. You about to give me a ticket. How am I going to get my doors fixed? Hey, man, why are you silly? He's going to give me a ticket. Who knows? <laughs> Shit. He already told me he was. Oh, well, damn. He's going to give me a ticket, then. <laughs> All right, I'm going to remember y'all because we live around here, man. I don't want y'all pulling me over. <laughs> <laughs> well, get fixed with everything you need to get no, man, It's a tag light, bro. And I ain't even going to hold you. I think your sergeant was behind me the other night. He ain't pulled me over. He drives the gray, the gray uh, Explorer, right? The silver. No. God damn, another one. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. We got to sort this out, so... $50 ticket for the week, right? Mm -hmm. No one's going to jail. Let's just start with that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You could because you got a suspended license. But... Oh, what a great officer. He's so nice, guys. He's just going to charge you $50 for having a little marijuana. I mean, he's a great guy. 
why is he searching the vehicle anyways? You guys, don't let police search your vehicles. Say no. Just say no, guys. I explained to you. I'm off in an hour, so we're not going to play that. <laughs> so, uh, you are going to get some tickets for the suspended. All right. Oh, all right. So, did you get locked up in DC last time? Nah, it was on 295. Really? Park United Police. Park Police. Those they guys. They took are... you to jail? Yeah, bro. That's around. They're serious. Yeah. All right. So, you're just going to get a must appear ticket from me, okay? That's cool. It's you're going to show you, up? Yeah. If you miss it, I'll show up. Yeah, I get paid. What? <laughs> if you don't, you get a warrant, okay? Damn. No, I'm going to show up. No, I, I just it. hope you don't. What a great, what a great joke, guys. I mean, it's hilarious that cops get paid to take your money. <laughs> no, I'll be there. No, Have you ever been, you to need to been to Washington State? Who? Have you ever been to Washington State? Like, like a state? Yeah. No. Okay, because you have a warrant through Washington State. What? Yeah. We're, My, not, we're not Washington, and it's in-state pickup only. So, again, not going to jail. No, you like skating around jail right now. <laughs> Hell so, no. How do I, I have a warrant? I, I've never been out there. Man, I don't know. I'll follow up with it and see. But you going to let me know when we get, yeah. go to court? No, I'm going to look on the computer and see. Cool. All right, yeah, let me know. Yeah, so, you can print it out for me? Maybe I'll try. So tickets for the suspended license. We're gonna switch drivers, right? Mm -hmm. You got a license. Yes. <laughs> we should have done that from the get go, right? Okay. All no, right. you would have seen it. You got me right there. I know. And then we're all gonna go home. Does that sound like a plan? That's fine. Okay. You guys have a seat back in the. No officer discretion. Um, we're gonna give you some tickets. I mean, come on, guys. You guys could just switch over, and it, you guys could have done this before, right? It's kind of. It's an ugly feeling to know that if you don't lick their boots, kiss their ass, praise them, and just, and even if you do, like these folks right here, they're, they just seem like, like they're just happy to, you know, go home with some tickets. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Like, yeah. Yeah. Great. You're a great officer. And just, this video right here has me a little befuddled because it's, it's sad to see, guys. Hold on, I want to get their names because I live by them. I don't want them pulling yeah, me over later. <laughs> Y'all remember the car, please. Please. It's a little tag light. I'm going to get it from AutoZone tomorrow, all right? All right, bet. So there you have it, guys. Uh, my final thoughts. Officer discretion should... It be looked at and fixed, adjusted. Is it working the way it should? A lot of times we see incidents where they're escalated um, many times by police officers. Is it their discretion to escalate as well? You see where I'm getting at? Something difficult to think about. Nobody really talks about officer discretion. They get to pick and choose who they want to arrest and it could be with a simple infraction. They could just easily say, hey, you know, go ahead, be on your merry way. Stop, you know, make sure you stop at a stop sign, you know, make sure you're not speeding or whatnot. You know, a lot of times I understand, you know, there's assholes out there. Maybe an officer's in the area and he keeps seeing this guy, you know, just running a red light in like a school uh, zone. And that's kind of stupid, right? Because sometimes kids run into the street and I could understand the officer ticketing that person. Although I don't like the fact that officers are sometimes hanging out, um, targeting parents, you know, but I will say that officer discretion definitely needs to be looked at. If you have a racist officer, he's definitely gonna let everybody that he likes He's going to let them go and everybody that he dislikes, he's going to ticket them. That's where I think it gets, it gets wrong. Um, the abuse of the power that we give police officers sometimes, they take it to the extreme. For instance, somebody's uncooperative with them. They're, let's say they shut down and give the cop a silent treatment. And the officer keeps asking them questions and the guy's like, you know, maybe giving them attitude. You know, sometimes... My kids give me some attitude and it just, it irks me, right? Uh, they ignore me or whatever. And uh, 
So I understand how an officer can get upset, but at the same time, um, what I'm trying to get at is they abuse this power where they call in medical and they say, this guy seems incoherent. We need to get some uh, medical evaluation and they'll call in some folks and then they'll check him out and the, the officer will be like, I want to take this guy in. And they'll come out and they'll be like, hmm, let me see. Yeah, you're uncooperative. Yeah, he may be incoherent and, and you know, not fit to be out in the streets. Let's go ahead and take him. Cops get him by force, bam, take him into this medical, you know, uh, <laughs> department or wherever they take him. Uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's an abuse of power. And how do we get to the point to where we allow it? Um, we allow an officer to to use it, you know, on whoever he wants. I don't know. Should we look at some kind of policy change? Should we have it to where officers are actually really um, policing each other along the way? If one officer sees another officer uh, doing something like this, could he go uh, with some kind of umbrella for whistleblowers to go in and say, hey, this guy needs to be checked out, man, and then start investigating and start uh, getting weeding out these bad officers I don't see any kind of um, anything like that where the good officers are weeding out the bad officers. On the contrary, it looks like all the bad officers are allowed to do what they want, violate people's rights, and the good officers see it happening and they don't say nothing. And that's disgusting. Shame on you officers. Shame on you guys that turn the other cheek and protect that blue line, brethren. Anyways, I think I've said enough for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Go subscribe to the channel. I'll drop it in the link in the description and in the pinned comment. See you on the next one, guys. Peace.